me, editor of Phil Studio, director and scriptwriter and all. So um, today I'm gonna show you a tutorial about uh, 3D camera tracking using Buju and only Buju <laughs> and import it to After Effects and make it real and text make it stay okay <coughs> first open Buju <coughs> sorry I have a sore throat okay mm. open Buju wait a second again my comma a little busy here okay so in Buju it's quite a great software it has many it, it can track a blur object yeah I love this software okay let's get started go to setup import your footage uh, click it where you want it uh, where your file is I mean the footage is okay search for it hmm. I think it's mp4 nope mp4 okay open it so it's free move so let's get started and be careful of the frame rate yeah uh, see your frame rate first uh, if you want to see your frame rate just go to after effects and take your footage here and create new composite and right click composite settings and see uh, only 29.97 mine is 29.97 not 30 okay cancel okay guys let's go to the buju tracker <coughs> so this says uh, sorry um in this software is very beautiful you can track all of the object not all of it but it can track and it's kind of cool software you can track in 2d or 3d but I mean free move in 3D. So I'm gonna, gonna try in 3D Buju. Okay. So first go to setup, go to import sequence. You wanna import your um footage to the desktop, my footage here, tutorials. <coughs> Sorry uh, I'm not you know not in the mood. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, first you want uh, this buju you must slightly look at the frame rate very concentrate effort frame rate because if you uh, change the frame rate it's gonna you know change all of the things change all the track it's crazy buju okay my f if you wanted to see your frame rate just go to after effects import your footage we're going to do this quick Just finish and make new comp and composite composite setting right click composite settings and I have 29.97 frame per second so I'm gonna take this 29.97 gonna change this frame rate to 24 to 29.9 frames per second okay if you choose free move free move is you gonna uh, make in 3d space you know um record it in 3d space if not a pen just one in the try uh, not in tripod uh, you just handheld camera uh, that is not a pen so i'm walking and in the 3d space i just click free move okay just apply it okay it's done so you can check it out it's kind of cool so if you want to download this uh, software buju it is free version yeah just click in just search for google buju track 3d tracker it will come in trial uh, so ever okay um, first you're gonna go to toolbox and track feature it's not going too long in this software I'm gonna take not it's gonna take a while uh, but not too long I'm sorry <laughs> my English is full of shitness okay uh, advance you're gonna click advance 
put large and sensitivity if you want it to go up I, um, I advise you to go just a little bit uh, forward like this okay and press start will take a while to track we'll see you again okay we've done it so um, this is the way of tracking 3d tracking buju okay this is just the first step of buju okay the second step is to camera solve um, click the camera solve here and uh, click optimize camera smoothness and then click start it's gonna take a while for this to track um, uh, you're gonna see this to track smoothly and not have a line a yellow line like this and you will after this you will go you will uh, gonna see the frame rate you're gonna check the frame rate not see I'm sorry and I consider I consider you just so uh, watch my video <laughs> watch my video pixel warfare yeah it's just very nice okay just wait for this to load if your com is expensive or it has a um, great measurement you can just uh, this loading is just gonna fast forward very fast not like this okay we've done it so this is the camera solves yeah it's cool right it's very cool okay now what you're gonna do um go to check the frame rate again go to stars what is this task view and click cameras camera one and sequence when you uh click the sequence Automatically, automatically it will be 20 frame rate 24 change it to your frame rate 39.97 that is me okay click apply I have clicked it before this okay okay before you're gonna go into export camera solve first you're gonna check the frame rate yes we've done that and you're gonna um, flag to export pick all of this um, where you want to track the object is just drag it right click flag for export it will uh, notify it will give after effects know where you want to track so go to export then go to export can export camera solve and browse when you wanna where you wanna save uh, I'm gonna make a tutorial okay save okay um, let's go to After Effects Maya and export flag track only after that you're gonna see the scale scene by just change it to 1000 you're gonna save it click save but I have saved it okay then jump in after effects okay so now just go to after effects just import uh, if you done it if you have done the buju track it will be after effects maya okay drag the after effects maya to after effects so here it will automatically go to the composite let's try to the composite so click the composite and double click it so it will be like this you've done it congratulations so next is gonna check the frame rate again you know buju it's quite crazy about the frame rate okay my suddenly change to 30 no my frame is frame rate is 29.97 so click ok ok that's good so drag your footage in here 
Done. It is done. We've done it. Okay, we're gonna test this. Create text. Tutorial. We'll make it big. Tutorial. Put. Click 3D if you want to automatically track. Click 3D. Switch mode if you want to see it 3D here. And where is it? Okay. Let's put it here. Maybe a little bit. There it is. You've done it. You track it. Congratulations. And now, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and keep supporting us. And have a great day. Goodbye.